that's the kind of thing that I'll be looking at in this video. So how did I come up with those um, little tapping ideas? So it's based around two chords. So it's going to be the uh, C major 9 chord here that you would have uh, looked at, we looked at in the uh, previous video. And technically, I've had a few people say, I know this, it's not actually a C major 9 chord because it's, it's not got this this uh, third in there. So it's a C major 9 omit third if you want to get technical about it. And then it moves up to a G major 9 omit third up here. So it's just based around two chords. And how I come up with the tapping is a lot of us are going to be stressing about like, you know, what scales to use with, you know, certain chords and stuff. But I say it's good to know that because, um, you know, obviously going to work its way into your playing if you learn the scales. But it's also very important to use your ear. And that's exactly what I did for this. So if, if I've got this chord, which chords notes sound nice of it. So eventually I worked out that, you know. So those, chord, those notes sound nice along with that chord, right? They really complement it. And you know, you can work it out if you play like that. And that sounds a bit, a bit out, right? Same with that one. But if you want to introduce tension, then it, or by all means, use those notes that sound out. You know, you could really like skip over them and fit them in there to make them sound cool. But I was just going for a straight, nice, happy major feel with it. And then that moves up to this chord up here, like I said. And instead of like... I thought, how about, you know, I pick it with this nice bouncy pattern. And you hear on the track that, you know, the bass and the drums really, you know, the, the accent, this rhythm, the dum ba dum ba da. Uh, so it sounds really nice uh, in, in my opinion and it's my own song so <laughs> um yes yeah, so that's just built around two chords and then at the end before it transitions into the second section we have the major uh, sorry minor 11 chord if you remember oh uh, sorry um starts on the starts on the g major 9 and if you remember the old a minor 11 chord there and then a c major 9 because those three chords sound quite nice together, right? So that's how I got that. And I wasn't really thinking about, uh, does this chord sound nice for this chord, theory-wise? No, I, I was just, just doing that kind of thing with my ear, right? Sounds nice to me. Okay, so another example uh, from the same EP, the Midnight EP, uh, this song is called Cherry Picked, and it's a rework of a song off an earlier EP uh, by our band. And um, that's on the outside, out of sight, out of mind EP. Uh, but this one's a bit more melodic and a bit more chilled out compared to the original version if you compare the two. Anyway, this is the little segment here. It's based around um, a D major 7 chord. it up a little bit but you get the idea right uh, so with that one again um, I wasn't thinking too much about chords and scales and stuff you know well you know obviously it is a scale that's in there but this is the voice leading with the little finger here I thought that was a pretty cool idea you know instead of just going Well, it means you could have a second guitar doing that, right? And then one of my all-time favorite chords, if you don't know this chord already, it's going to change your life, is a sus2 chord. And I originally got this chord, um, it was from Funeral for a Friend, I uh, forget the track. Um... I think 
that's how it goes, but yeah, that's sus2 chord, like, it's just such a nice alternative for a power chord as well. Yeah, I use those kind of chords all the time, they're really cool. And uh, yeah, the, and to end the piece, to go back into the chorus, uh, we have this. C sharp minor seven. Uh, B minor nine again. Really nice chord. And then that goes back into the. If you haven't heard the song already then that won't make any sense to you but that's like the intro and the chorus part of it and the very first track on the album is called uh, Apelion uh, this starts on a D major 9 chord and that riff goes like this <laughs> <laughs> 